Fast of Gitalaya, Wikipedia Audio The Fast of Gitalaya, also transliterated from the Hebrew language as Gitalaya, or Gitalya, is a minor Jewish fast day from dawn until dusk to lament the assassination of the righteous governor of Judah. His murder ended Jewish autonomy following the destruction of the first temple. When the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar conquered Jerusalem, he killed or exiled most of its inhabitants and appointed Gedaliah, son of Akikam, as governor of the now Babylonian province of Judah. Many Jews who had fled to Moab, Ammon, Edom, and other neighboring lands returned to Judah, tended the vineyards again, and enjoyed a new respite after their earlier suffering. However, Baalus, king of Ammon, was hostile and envious of the Judean remnant and sent a Judean, Yishmael ben Netania, who was descended from the royal family of Judea, to assassinate Gedaliah. In the seventh month of 582-1 BCE, a group of Jews led by Yishmael came to Gedaliah in the town of Mitzpah and were received cordially. Gedaliah had been warned of his guest's murderous intent, but refused to believe his informants, having the belief that their report was mere slander. Yishmael murdered Gedaliah, together with most of the Jews who had joined him and many Babylonians whom the Babylonian king had left with Gedaliah. The remaining Jews feared the vengeance of the Babylonian king and fled to Egypt. Origins the events are recounted briefly in the Hebrew Bible in 2 Kings 25:25-26. A fuller account is in Jeremiah, chapter 41, where the murder of a group of envoys and the kidnapping of the gubernatorial staff and family are also related. In Josephus' Books of the Antiquities of the Jews, the story of the conspiracy is provided in considerable detail. The surviving remnant of Jews was thus dispersed and the land remained desolate. In remembrance of these tribulations, the Jewish sages instituted the fast of the seventh on the day of Gedaliah's assassination in the seventh month. It is suggested that Gedaliah was slain on the first day of Tishrei but the fast is not commemorated until after Rosh Hashanah, since fasting is prohibited during a festival. The rabbis have said that the aim of this fast day is to establish that the death of the righteous is likened to the burning of the house of God. Just as they ordained a fast upon the destruction of the Jewish temple, likewise they ordained a fast upon the death of Gedaliah. The fast is observed immediately after the second day of the high holy day of Rosh Hashanah, the third of Tishrei in the Hebrew calendar. The Gregorian date for the fast of Gedaliah varies from year to year based on when it corresponds with the third of Tishrei. When Rosh Hashanah falls on Thursday and Friday, the fast is postponed until Sunday, since no public fast may be observed on Shabbat with the exception of Yom Kippur. That was the case in 2004, 2007, 2010. 2011, 2013, 2014, and 2017, which will happen again in 2024. In 2010, this fast day was observed on September 12, in 2011, this fast day was observed on October 2, in 2012. This fast day was observed on September 19, in 2013, this fast day was observed on September 8, in 2014, this fast day was observed on September 28, in 2015, this fast day was observed on September 16, in 2016, this fast day was observed on October 5. In 2017, this fast day was observed on September 24. In 2018, this fast day will be observed on September 12. 
in 2019, this fast day will be observed on October 2, in 2020, this fast day will be observed on September 21. The fast is observed from dawn until dusk. As with regular fast days, the Hazan includes the prayer Anianu and the repetition of the Amida during Shah Charit and Mincha as a separate bracha between the prayers for redemption and healing and in the private recitation of the Mincha Amida it is recited as an addition to Shima Kolianu. The Avinu Makanu prayer is recited and as it is during the ten days of repentance the additions reference the new year. A Torah scroll is taken from the Ark and the passages of Ki Tissa are read from the Torah. The same Torah reading is added at Mincha, followed in Ashkenazic congregations by a Hof Torah reading. As the fast falls during the days of penitence, the Eslikot prayer is recited before the start of Shah Charit and incorporates also an extra paragraph relating to the fast of Gedaliah. There is no Slikot service at the time of the repetition of the Amidah. In Hebrew Bible In the Spanish and Portuguese rite, the prayers are recited from the Book of Prayers for Fast Days. There are lengthy additions to the prayers that are not found in the daily and Sabbath Siddur, and that are specific to the day as well as prayers that are common to all the fast days with the exception of Yom Kippur. In Josephus Institution of Fast Dates Observances 